Am I in a parallel universe? You're praying. What's wrong? The love of my life since those 20 walked out of me for no good reason. Other than the extra toothbrush that's pooping into your bathroom. All right, all right. How am I going to get out of this? The Quran has a perfect solution for you. Say no to your mother. Fair enough, yes. That's an excellent plan B. Now what about a plan A? Too bad you and Sarah didn't have a prenuptial agreement excluding polygamy. We could draw one up right now. You could dig deep into that ex-lawyer brain of yours and dream up some Latin mumbo-jumbo. Here's some Latin mumbo-jumbo for you. Pre means before. The law isn't retroactive. Not even Islamic law? Especially not Islamic law. And now, a Mercy Anglican, the same institution that welcomed terrorists, is opening its back door <laughs> to yet another evil. An evil that could very well undermine our way of life. Queer marriage. Oof. Wake up, people. Now let's go to our live coverage down at the Legion, where we're raising funds for the Neuter a Cat for a Kid Who Can't campaign. If you want a sign, you take it from there. Oh, it's you. Can I help you with something? We heard you were planning a demonstration on Sunday? Yes, against the abomination. Oh, I thought it was against gay marriage. Yes, gay marriage. I just <laughs> like saying abomination. Abomination. Me too. Abomination. 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 Ah, very good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like the first two times. Yeah. Abomination. Mm. Tea from your inbox. Is that a Lebanese tradition? It's just a little experiment. <clears throat> Pre marriage contract. Yeah, sir. This is deceitful. I can't be a part of this. Fine, but as long as you don't tell anyone, it's um, Imam client privilege. Hey, Mom. Oh, hi. Okay. I brought what you asked for, but I think you should come home. Hey, darling. Let's see. Fresh undies, jammies, shampoo. What's missing? Oh, yes, your father and his mother. Perfect. Come on, Mom. He'll stand up to her eventually. And I'll come home eventually. I thought you were going home tonight, she asked, hopefully. I never said that. So say it now. She's right, Mom. You should go home to Dad. He loves you. <sighs> Unless you want to stay at my house. Go ahead. Leave your husband. Just like I did. And neither of us will have sex ever again. Okay, fine. You win. I'll go home. But he's on the couch. Have you seen these? We'll give him some to protest. You're a great man, Reverend McGee, but we've talked and we can't let you do this. What do you mean? I haven't been this pumped up for a brawl since we took on the Franciscan Flyers in the field hockey. I'm sorry. We've made up our minds. Love is worth fighting for. You can't cancel the wedding. Oh, no, we're not canceling it. We're having it in Toronto. Oh, we found this fabulous church, spa and massage included. Toronto? Oh, you people are all alike. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I understand. Hating Toronto can cloud anyone's judgment. <laughs> Come on, honey. Bye-bye. I'm very sorry, Mama, but it's all there in the prenuptial. It smells. I had it in my sock drawer. Like Earl Grey. Next to some tea bags. But that puts an end to it. I can't marry Samira. Oh, thank you, Yasser. You came back to me. Yasser. Come on, let's go for a walk. You're a doctor. Mm -hmm. Can you walk when your heart has been broken into a million pieces, scattered into the dirt, spat on, and then kicked into the gutter? 
As long as you wear sensible shoes, yes. Come on. I told you, they went to Toronto. Oh, you're just saying that to throw us up their scent. Their perfume scent, huh? Actually, that's me. This month's Jogging Today had a clone sample. You should go and take your signs with you. Every litter bit hurts. There's really nobody inside. Father, I wish I could tell you the church was filled with gay people. It really does. This is stupid. I'm going home. Joe, there'll be other days, other sinners. Come on, I'll buy you a beer. Muslim? You can buy me a beer. That looks like the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Oh, darling, you bake, I get excited. <laughs> now, look. See? Empty. Empty. No other wives. Aren't you sorry you ever doubted me? No, well, sometimes I'm sorry I married you. Like when I read this. Ah, yes. I drew that up because, of course, I knew it would close the issue forever. My mother no, has... calm down, calm down. I read the contract, and it's not bad. Yeah. yeah, well, I knew you'd understand. I even added a few clauses. I see. Yeah. Yes. Anything for you, darling? For you? Laundry every week? Non-negotiable. Cleaning out the garage, but everything in the garage has a use. No, no, non-negotiable. <sighs> Chick flick Fridays. Yeah, we're going to start with the notebook. Okay, this last clause. Uh, oh, you're not up to it? I think it might need some practice, darling, to get it right. Well, then you better get right on it, then. Right now? Mm-hmm. After all, darling, a contract is a contract. 